So in this video, we will look at how we can repurpose our lead ad form and create our view for an individual lead. So, so far we have this ad form, right, which we can use to enter any lead. Now, what I want to do is whenever any user wants to look at an individual lead let's say i want to click here and i want to i want to view the detail of this lead i'll click here and i will land up with this same form with the ability to view all the data and edit and do a save okay so this is what we want to achieve and so let's get started So the first thing that we are going to do is inside our web.php why don't we create a new URL we'll name it view slash let's do it lead okay so what I'm trying to do here is get a route model binding okay in case you don't know what route model binding is basically what I'm saying is whenever i pass anything after view right the id for now that will be used to query the database get the lead and i'll automatically get that inside my controller which means so i have index create store we'll have a new function view and that i'll get lead okay just to confirm that we do get that why don't we return the lead inside here if i do slash one it should give me this row and if i do two it will give me john doe so let's start with two john doe if you can see i'm getting the json which means database is able to get that but in case if we type something else it returns as a 404 so that's good news right we don't need to manually do any query and it is also handling the scenario where that particular ID doesn't uh, exist in the database and you need to understand that the ID is being used in the URL because inside the model I think it's inside the model where there is a property which tells us what field to use for the URL. Um, it is, hold on a bit. Um, Right. I think this is the get primary key for the model. This is you know, the uh, yes, sorry, the the get route key, right? This is what will be used. By default, it is the um, route key name, okay, which by default is the key name, okay, and that's why I typically change the key name. But you know, that's uh, what basically you need to do is, for example, if I go to my database and let's say inside my lead, for some reason, okay, my phone number is not a unique thing. Uh, is there anything else that I can use? Hmm. Okay, you know what? I'll I'll show you this uh, in a future video. But basically, I can use any of this column as this model property, and then when I do lead, it will basically look for that property to query, and the query will be very similar to let's say. Um, dollar lead equals to lead 
okay uh, where and then instead of id it will be that column and will we'll pass the variable okay so it's very much like that so right now we haven't changed anything anything so it is the id which we are looking at and so this is how we did our route model binding we can see that the data is available to us so now why don't we go to our leads folder inside resources js um, pages okay we'll create a lead view uh, lead view sorry dot view looks like a tongue twister actually uh, um, so I'll, I'll copy everything from my lead add form and push it here I don't need to do a submit and send the data to the save URL because then it will create duplicate entry for any reason I don't want to do that now if you can see I have the entire lead object very closely binded to my form right now in the in the long run I'll want to refactor so that this form is an individual com component but uh, let's see so now I have lead add, I have lead view, lead view has this we will add a props to this component and so basically we want to send the lead which we are getting here dollar lead into the component so lead prop we are expecting an object I'm doing lead prop because I already have a data called lead and my model is very closely binded to that so I don't want to change that right now okay I don't want to get into that refactoring now I have this prop which is coming which is available in the component right and I have this empty object so now I need to somehow assign this data into this okay I'll, I'll first show you uh, instead of doing it and then you understanding it so I'll open up my hmm what happened I did a save oh all right it's not showing me the view tab because I haven't returned inertia render pages slash lead view and this is lead prop dollar lead I think now if I refresh something is wrong node watch is not working okay so once this is ready right so if I now hit refresh it is still not showing me anything this is this is bad what what happened so inertia render that's what we are doing it's leads dot or leads slash lead view yes so um, I need to get the view tab yes and we are on that page I do lead view you can see the lead data or other lead prop has all the information and I if in any way if I can you know kind of assign that to this object my model will be populated so how do we do that in view we have this created method which is and of being called when the component is ready right so so we will use that as you know uh, I mean it's one of the hooks or you can say it's one of the events uh, you know, which which we can use the created is one function which you know is triggered on different uh, stages of the life cycle of a view component so created is I think the first one which is being called then there are other ones like mountain mounted dead mount and things like that I, I, some of them I'm 
uh, I get a little confused with React. But yeah, created and mounted, I think those are uh, available. Yes, mounted before mount. So we'll start with created. Okay, and then inside this, I'll say this dot lead is equal to this dot lead prop. And with that, and some luck, we have things in place. So if I do view slash one, it shows my data. And if I do two, it shows the other data, right? So this is working. And I think we have the listing done properly. The only thing which we ah, say lead slash what is happening list All right the only thing now we need to do uh, before we can handle the update is uh, find a way to link this you know, I click it and it goes to that particular uh, record so that's something we will try in the next video where we will use this you know, this package which allows me to basically get the entire route object inside my javascript so that um i can link them uh, using a route uh, using the name of the route which i have defined here which is lead view instead of actually um linking like this because if you see right now inside our layout inertia link is slash leads slash list so this is fine till we refactor our route um you know I, if i change this then my uh, code needs to change that that component needs to be updated whereas if i work with named routes then i can have lead view and whatever happens to this url you know my components really don't care because it will automatically update based on this name okay so yeah uh, in this we have our basic view in place and in the next video we will work on the link and then we will look at how to update the form and we will also need to uh, refactor so that the form is made a common component which can be used across both the add and view component thanks for watching guys if you like the video do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel